Hey guys, we've got a ThinkPad T495 here with us today. So it's a AMD Ryzen powered ThinkPad T series. I've been actually looking forward to testing this for a while now. So one of the first thing you'll notice is actually it's the same T series chassis, so it's really well built. And um, but if anything, it's quite easy to leave the fingerprint marks on the all side. Um, okay, compare this with the um, really popular T480 series. Um, you lose the um, replaceable uh, battery on the back, so some of you might not be as um, happy with the newer version. Uh, but apart from that, the uh, built-in battery is um, charges quite fast. Um, okay, so if we um, gently open it. Um, you'll see that um, we'll switch off the screen so it's easier for the camera to get a sense. So, well, we've actually got a T480 here with us today as well. Um, so as you can see, the bezel is a little bit thinner. It's still not as thin as the XPS 13, for instance, but it's much less um, obvious than before. Um, one of the other thing is just see how, how much lower the top of the lid sits. So it's actually quite, um, quite a bit more... Um, Optimize across the generation. Um, so, other change when immediately you notice is a speaker grill. So it's upward firing speakers, a little bit better than before. So it's um, um, whereas this one is downward firing and um, it's the sound is not as good as a newer version. I wouldn't say this 495 is um, um, near the speaker level of an entertainment laptop like um, XPS or ASUS or MSI, but it's certainly better than before. Okay, so the texture-wise, it's um, much softer on the new model. It's, um, it's as you can feel, the older one is a little bit rigid. The new one is really soft, um, and it's just nice to use. Um, okay, so um, one of the if we put the T four eighty apart, actually, there's just one more thing to think. So this is a quick test. So we'll try to open the lid with just one hand. So. You can see that on the 495, you can easily open the hand uh, with one hand, whereas on the T480, you really struggle. So it's one of those small refinements. Okay, what is the weight of T480? So now it's a uh, Ryzen Pro. It's uh, that just means that it has more management options for the corporate customers. Um, so okay, so this is a Ryzen 3 model. So it's the base model. It comes in at so 27% lower price than the um, Intel's. Um, um, 8th gen version of the T490. It's actually so much lower, it's almost a third off. Um, in comparison, you would have, a few years ago, you would really have struggled to find a T-series at this price. And um, you still have the ooh, privacy filter, it's quite cool. Um, okay, so the memory, 8 gig for the base, and um, also this one has 128 um, SSD, but I think in the UK base, you should have the 1256. Um, another addition is the Intel, um, well, the AMD integrated graphics is a little bit faster than the Intel version. It's not quite as fast as the T490's um, upgrade, which is the MX250. Um, and also another thing to note, this uh, T495, it doesn't have Thunderbolt 3, so you can't do hook up the um, external display, um, well, external graphics, uh, so as to speak. Um, so to do that, you'll need the 490. So, okay. If we just um, close it down a second, so it's, um, as you can see, it's really quite a um, really reassuring build. Um, let me just bring back um, a different machine, actually. This one is the T440P. Well, just, uh, this is from a few generations ago, so this is a fourth gen um, processor. Just see how, how thin the new model is. So if we just open the lid, the base of the T440 is <laughs> still thicker than the T440. 95. So that's just how, how far we've come in a few years time. Um, in terms of the battery, um, so I mean most of the specification online seems to suggest Intel has better um, um, battery on the T490, but obviously on the 495, some of the review actually suggests that unless you're doing really heavy workload, the battery could be marginally better than the Intel one. So it's a really compelling option finally. Um, I think that's pretty much all we have um, time for today. Um, if there's any question, just give us a shot. Um, what we expect probably for most customers is um, the 495 is a really good budget option, and I think the most sort of um, likely next alternative would be something actually like a refurb T480 in terms of the price. So it's um, I think um, one way is to think of the T495 as a budget addition to the uh, T490 series. 
Um, but at the same time, it would be priced against existing refurb machines like the T480, which is still a really good machine. Um, for that machine, you still have the replaceable battery, so I think that's the main difference. Also, um, on our website, we've done a quick um, T490 versus T495 comparison, so do take a look at the article um, in the um, YouTube link. Um, that's all we have time for today. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks.